Hi everyone. I hope everybody is safe and healthy. I'm going to do this drawing with you today. It's a peacock with a feather. If anybody likes to join in, grab a piece of paper, pencil, whatever you have to write with, and we'll get started. All right, so I'm gonna, this is what we're drawing today. I'm gonna take it off to the side here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw about the center of your paper, kind of like an S with a curl at the end, like a wide S with a curl at the end. Then you're gonna go on the other side of your S and you're gonna bring it around and connect them together. Once you have that on there, at the top here, right about where you're going to want your neck to be for your bird, you can draw a C. Then depending on the thickness of the neck, you're going to go that you would like. You're going to start probably right about here, at the top of your C, and you're going to draw another C and connect it at the bottom of your wing. And the last part is the head, which is like part of a C. Now we can begin decorating the bird. This is basically a henna design. So we'll start with the wing. Draw a little half circle. Draw another little half circle. And then you're going to do like little X's in here. After that, you're going to put like petals, kind of like a flower, like this. Then you're going to do your center petal, like this. And just keep going until you got all your petals on there. Then after your petals, you're going to draw a line through the center of them like this. Then on your center one here, you're going to follow that same line all the way down to the tip. Then we're going to put in our leaf design, which is just diagonal lines. Same thing on the other side. And there's your wing. What I call negative spaces up here, you're going to want to fill these in so that your petals will stick out more. And that's basically your wing. Now we're going to start adding some decoration to the bird. We're going to go up here at the top. We're going to give them like a little collar. So like a curve. Another thinner curve. And then some bumps. Then we'll add his eye and his beak. The top here we're going to add some feathers. I call them like little teardrops. You can add one straight up in the middle here. And then off from your teardrops just to add a little more design. You can do like a little curl. And then on the other side another little curl. Then you feel in your little teardrop feathers. Mine's going to be a little thicker because I'm doing it with a marker so you guys can see it so it might not come out exactly like yours. But I'll do the best I can. Now we're going to add the design to the bird. Adding 
two lines like this. And then same thing again, you're going to do your little humps. Then when you do your next line, you don't want to make the humps. You just kind of want to do the outline of the humps. And then we do swirls. Now I, I find the best way to do the swirls is to start at the bottom and go to your center. Just like that. Then your next line is going to be the outline of the swirls. And you can do as many rows of swirls as you want to. Since I'm drawing with a marker, I'm only going to do one row. You can do add more if your picture is a little bigger than mine. I'm going to add another bunch of humps here. And I'll do one more row of swirl. And the same thing again, another line to outline them. And then you just continue with the humps for the rest of your feathers. Basically, that's your bird. Now we're going to add some tail feathers. Just draw like a nice long, somewhere along the, your wing here. You're going to come down and around in a curl. And you're going to do another one right next to that one, a little bit longer curl. And then you're going to do a curved one over here and curl the other way. And anywhere throughout your little curls, you're just going to add some more. This is like your feathery effect for your feathers. We'll do a small one in here. Now for the second half of our drawing, we're going to start working on the flower that you see here. That's a henna flower. We're going to start doing that. So somewhere next to your bird, but far enough away so that you can draw a petal there, you're just going to do right in the center a swirl. Then on the outside of your swirl, you're going to do some humps. And then you can start drawing the petals of your flower. I call them onion domes. That's kind of what they look like. And then center your onion domes to make them look more like flowers. We'll just do these three little lines. And then the same way you did your wing, you're going to do your petals or leaves. So you're going to pick a point somewhere along your petal here. Do your curve with your swirl. Pick another point and attach them together. Same thing with the top, but in the opposite direction. A 
Um, I didn't go in the opposite direction, but <laughs> we'll start decorating our leaves. So we're going to do some swirls. Outline your swirl. Straight line for your leaves and then your diagonal lines. this leaf here we're going to add like a vine type effect just by drawing a line like this and add little leaves on each side And you're going to do the same thing at the bottom. It's kind of like continues your vine. So you're going to kind of follow where your vine goes and do the same thing down here. And the henna, they actually call this drills. Anything that's a, a repeat, repetitive line whether it's a vine or just a decorative design, it's called drills. And then we're gonna add another decorative piece. We're gonna follow the same line is the vine, so we're going to put a swirl on the end of it, and then we're going to add these little boxes to it. And you can come down the bottom so it's like a continuation of that one around, put a swirl on it, and the same thing, little boxes. Then the last part of our design, just to add like a little bit of flow to it, what I call like it looks like it's got wind <laughs> blowing on it, is we're going to pick a spot right here. It doesn't have to be right up close to your design, but and we're going to put these little dashes that kind of looks like they're floating in the wind. And you can put another row of them right next to that row. And you can add them to the top too. Let's see where I want to add them. I guess I can add them over here. And there we have it. Stay safe and stay healthy.